Hi everyone, it's Pete from Ronjo.com. And not only am I a magician, I'm also a card player. And because I play a lot of cards, and because I do magic, I could spot a cheat at the table. And when I do spot a cheat at the table, I don't rat them out. Because I'm a firm believer in never let a sucker keep their money. But I do leave the game. But I also leave the game by stealing a little souvenir out of the deck. One day I was at a card table and there were two cheaters at the same table. That day I had to take two cards from the deck. I keep them face up to remind me that everything is possible. We're going to use these cards as locator cards. I'm going to deal face down in a pile, one card on top of the other, until you tell me when to stop dealing. You can say stop at any time you like. I will mark it with one of my cards here, bury it in the deck. Just like before, we're going to do it again. I deal, you say stop at any time. Stop. Should I put it down or put it back? Put it down. Put it down. I'll mark it with my locator card. We're going to locate the card where you told me to stop next to my card where, you, where we did stop. Here and there. Now, let me get these out of the way. If you stop me at the right space, at the right time, something amazing is going to happen. That is a perfect match. That is a perfect match. Now, you can't match the faces, obviously, because otherwise I'd be a cheat. I don't want to cheat. But that's as close as you can get to a match. Now, the funny thing is, when I steal a card out of the deck, I'm prone to stealing my lucky card, which is always the queen of hearts. But that day I had to do it a little differently.